Hey everyone, and welcome. Today, we're tackling a common question. How do you get Surfshark VPN running on your smart TV? It's a great way to secure your streaming and the ability to unlock content, but the process varies depending on your TV and some other VPN companies. This has been one of the most asked questions along with the question, can you do a video on how to install a Surfshark VPN? Look, I know that there are so many different levels of knowledge with this stuff, so I try to include something for everyone. This shouldn't be a long video, and all you super users might learn something new today, along with the viewers just learning this stuff. I appreciate the ones who help others in the comments. Yes, you're my buddies, my pals, my friends. Let's start off with Android TV. If you're lucky enough to have an Android TV, this is the easiest route. Just head over to the Google Play Store, search for Surfshark, and download the app. Install it. Log in with your credentials, and you're good to go. Now, for those of you with Samsung, LG, Roku, or Apple TVs, things are a bit different. Unfortunately, most VPNs don't have a direct app for these TV platforms. But don't worry, I have some workarounds. First, you will need to sign up with Surfshark for their free trial with the link in the description if you haven't already. Now I say use the link in the description or use your smartphone with the QR code I have on the screen right there because it has the best deals available. As you can see, you can get it for as low as $1.99 a month and having something is better than nothing. Let me suggest you try the more popular plan that covers antivirus, malware protection, webcam protection, alerts that protect your personal information, credit cards, ID protection, and more. It also has ad-free search results, no data tracking or storage, and country-specific search results. And the plan I chose for only $4.29 a month with an additional three free months includes Incogni a service that removes your information from data brokers and such. There are others like Delete Me that charge $10.75 a month just for the removal service. There's a plan for anyone and with a free trial. Then check it out. Okay, back to the installs. Option one, the VPN router. This method involves setting up Surfshark directly on your router. This secures all devices connected to your Wi-Fi, including your TV. It's a bit more technical, but we'll guide you through it. You'll need a router that supports VPN configurations. The exact steps vary depending on your router. You can check if your router is compatible by looking for OpenVPN, WireGuard, or L2TP instructions in your router's user manual or online. Surfshark also provides a list of compatible routers and setup guides on their website. A set up a router with Surfshark offers detailed tutorials, including those for Asus WRT and GL Init routers. Okay, let's run through the setup real quick so you can follow along and replay when needed. We need to jump on their website and log into your dashboard. Under VPN, click on Manual Setup. Next, choose Router. Then I chose OpenVPN, and this will open up your credentials and locations. Let's go to Locations first to create a file to download. Here you can choose your location or just fastest server. The configuration file I like is a UDP and click to download. Go back to credentials and copy the username first, then go over to the router VPN settings and install the file you just downloaded. Verify it's the one, then paste the username and password here. Click save and wait for connection and you're done. Some routers need to be rebooted, but that's it. It's that easy. Our second workaround involves using your Windows PC as a virtual router. This allows you to share your PC's VPN connection with your TV. It's a handy option if you don't want to mess with your router settings. To do this, you'll need to enable the mobile hotspot in Windows settings and then configure the Surfshark network adapter to share the connection. I have a step-by-step -step guide in the description. Click on how to set up a VPN-protected Wi-Fi hotspot using Windows. It will take you to this page right here that will walk you through everything you will need to do for that. Finally, the recommended method for non-Android TVs, using an external device. Devices like Amazon Fire TV Stick, Superbox, VC Box, or Nvidia Shield TV do support the Surfshark app. Simply install the app on the device, connect it to your TV, and enjoy secure streaming. This is generally the easiest and most reliable way to get Surfshark running on these TVs. You can find the Surfshark app in the app store of your external device. Now, since you have joined the Surfshark services, the easiest and fastest way to install and get up and running is by using your phone. 
Since Surfshark has an unlimited device policy, you can protect every device with one account. Let's download the app and install it. You can either go to Play Store, Amazon Store, or just get it from their download page right here. Since it's pretty much the same install on these devices, I will do the Windows version for ease of demonstration. Click the app needed for your device. Once it's done downloading, you click Install and follow the directions. When done, click Finish, and it will open up the login screen. Now you can log in using the credentials used when you purchase the VPN, but if you're like me, I install on my phone first, so I can use the login on another device method. Click that and use the QR code with your phone and a couple clicks you're in. Let's go to settings first, then VPN settings, and choose launch on startup. Choose fastest locations in the country of your choice. Choose clean web for protection with malware, viruses, and more. You have a kill switch here, so if it detects IP leakage, it will disable the internet for you. Sometimes you may need to bypass some websites like your online banking. It's rare, but nice to have if needed. You can choose invisible on LAN, rotating IP addresses, and no borders options. Next, you can set up alerts. Just click here to set it up. After entering your email address, it will go out looking for any breaches with your email. It will show you who and where. You can also do this with your credit card, ID, and social security number. Next, download the included antivirus protection and click scan. You can set this up to run on schedule. Oh, and they include a protected search browser. No ads. No tracing, none of that stuff. Let's go back to the front to turn on the VPN portion. Here you can choose the fastest location, nearest country, or any of the other countries you may want. Click Quick Connect and give it a second to set everything up and now your VPN is up and running from this location. Before we close this out, I will give you a pro tip that will save you hundreds and possibly thousands using a VPN if you are a traveler or even a once a year vacationer. For example, if you live in the USA or are traveling to Singapore, then change the VPN to Singapore. Use Google Chrome incognito mode and translate the page if needed, then look for flights each way. I have done this many times because they have a much lower price originating out of other countries. You can actually fly within countries by purchasing the tickets from another country where it's cheaper to live. Just that tip alone should get those who are not subscribed to join us. And remember to support the channel by liking the videos to YouTube will recommend us to other like-minded people. Thanks again to those that do. So there you have it. Installing a VPN for your smart TV. Choose the method that best suits your setup. And happy streaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tech tips.